Well hello, Scott here and I'm coming to you today from Little Car Park in Knaresborough. I've uh, been away for a while but I'm back now and I've got quite an interesting video for you today. Uh, Liz and I have just come back from the coast and we had a little look in an incredible shop, Boys, in Bridlington. Now there's loads and loads of boys around the place but this is a full-on boys department store which has everything, furniture, carpets, clothes, everything. Plus on the top floor which I'm going to show you it's got a cafe and a museum. A museum in a boys store believe it or not anyway let's have a look at the video and uh, i'll be back at the end so boys the archetypal yorkshire shop you see them all over the place market towns cities towns all over right, york leeds wherever and i'm calling it east germany because, not because we had them in, in east germany these but because i think the architecture is very Eastern European but if you have a look as I said 68 uh, of these from Newcastle in the north down to Cambridgeshire in the south over to the Lake District and this is Bridlington this is where we're going to look at today and then we're going to go in now and we're going to have a little look to see what we've got and of course here we go this is uh, uh, what they've got on each floor toiletries chocolates on the, on the ground floor first floor ladies fashions haberdashery second floor furniture and then oh well what's that boys company museum okay we're going to look at that first and yes there is a museum right on the third floor and as i was going up the lady told me that the quiche of the day was uh, ham and cheese i think it was but th this is literally a museum on, on the floor so, so it's got lots of uh, old relics of boys and it's got lots of photographs boys in fact was uh, i think it's 1881 which means it's older than morrison's older than marks and spencer's and uh, they've got a little anim animatronics area. This guy's animated and, uh, oh, I don't know what exactly what he's doing there. In fact, there's, he's in the drapery. We'll have another look at that. I mean, that is not the best gesture in the world. Let's, let's face it. I mean, I don't exactly know what he's doing. His, his left hand looks like it's had some wear as well. The boy, thankfully, has got his, uh, his, his back turned to him. But uh, the, the boys' museum, it's actually got a... Uh, a rating in TripAdvisor, believe it or not. Now, over there is the Bayside Cafe, uh, where everyone's enjoying their quiches, and it's got a fantastic view over Bridlington. There it is, and uh, probably the museum held me there. Now, I've got other content, that's where the finger's there, so have a little look at that. And as we go down now to the second floor, on the second floor is furniture, and uh, the clothing clearance, carpets, rugs let's have a look well well the bed's got its uh got its bit missing there and it's got lots of furniture including four mica wardrobes at 400 quid for four mica wardrobe my word lots of quite expensive and quite poor furniture over there and quite a large um, clothing clearance i'm going downstairs now this the design of this the tiles in particular i think are sort of 1970s bulgarian railway station or leisure center or something but uh, more advertising for the quiche of the day. There it is. $6.95 with peas, beans, chips. There it is. I said ham and cheese, I think it was. And uh, other things available. So we're going to go down now to the first floor. And what I hear you ask is on the first floor. Well, ladies' fashions, ladies' underwear, knitting yarns, children's wear, hosiery and accessories. Seems a bit of an afterthought there. Let's go and have a look. Well, we start off with candles and what else is there? Well, there's a, some handbags there. Look very nice. And going across there, there's lots of, again, cushions, pillows. And over there, I don't know whether that's socks and stuff, I think, slippers maybe. And here's all every conceivable colour of wool. And then we're going into the fab. Oh, look at the colour of the fabrics there. My goodness me. And what's that? That's lampshades or something is it i don't know and then going into again back the handbags and luggage now choice of black or purple in luggage and there's, oh, there's, oh, there's a few tan ones there maybe a bit of delivery to put away still there and then we're coming up to the nightwear area some very up-to-date nightwear baby wear as long as you like blue and well it looks a bit of a mess if i'm honest but uh not many people now now, one thing really to note, goods selected on this floor must be paid for on this floor. So don't be 
picking up children's wear and trying to pay for it downstairs on men's wear. It's got zeal value, whatever that means. Special offer on the ground floor. Now, special offers on the jeans and the Packer Max there. Uh, men's wear, some jumpers by the looks of it, a few shirts maybe, socks. And then we made our way into confectionery. Is that crayons? Uh, oh, mops and buckets and uh, that might be crayons. Um, toiletries, ladies' products, and whatever that is. Moving our way now uh, towards, uh, well, I don't know what that dressing gown that looks like. Oh, this is my favorite thing an anti mouse uh, sound thing, which kills mice or makes them go away. Santa's coming to boys, arriving at the harbor. I think we might have got some, some pictures now of the Scarborough town. You notice the floor is different. The Scarborough Town Shop, dusters, confectionery. So I hope you found that of use. Uh, as ever, please subscribe to this channel if you uh, find this content any good. Plus, uh, don't forget uh, to like this video. Tell your friends, tell everyone. Uh, and that's it for me. See you again soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.